Hi, I'm Emmanuel and welcome to my workbench. Today I will be doing a mail call video with a whole bunch of different things. I have a uh, giveaway win over here. This is a trade with one of my subscribers and this here and this here are acquisitions uh, uh, that I recently got from local, my, um, from coin shops. So let's get right into it and I'll bring you in on what I got when I visited the Royal Canadian Mint with Numis Canada with Bruce. All right. So this is when, uh, when I had uh, my meetup with uh, Numis Canada with Bruce at the Royal Canadian Mint. Uh, this past August, uh, at the mint shop, uh, I, uh, at the gift shop, I did buy something and here is what I bought. So let me pull it out. I didn't have one of these, but it's nice and chunky. Uh, it's a 10 ounce, four nines fine silver bar from the Canadian Royal Mint. Serial number over here. The, uh, mint logo on this side. So this is a nice acquisition. Um, the mint, uh, when you go to the coin shop there, you don't have to, uh, if you're just visiting the, the gift store, the gift shop, you don't have to pay uh, an admission fee. They'll take you right to the shop. And um, gold bars and bullion coins, you, they don't have them on display. You have to ask for them. They have them behind the counter, but um, they sell them at market rates. So I got this uh, at a, mar a good rate and I didn't have to pay for postage. So I ended up saving more money. So that's an awesome acquisition. Now, speaking of Numis Canada with Bruce, I will put his link up here and down in the description as well. Um, this one over here was a giveaway that I won on his channel. I strongly recommend that you go over to his channel and subscribe if you haven't already. He does awesome content. And let's see what I won. Okay. So first of all, let's, let's set this aside over here. Bruce put a few things in here. Let me open this over here. All right. So let's begin with my, the giveaway win. The giveaway win was this 2021 100th anniversary of the Blue Nose, which features... Um, the, the, the colorized and the non-colorized coins you can see there at the top, uh, as well as the regular circulation coins. Now, I've already, I already have one of these. And so what I'm doing is I am going to uh, spread the love. I'm going to set this aside. And uh, this will be one of my giveaways when I hit 1,000 subs. So stay tuned when I hit 1,000 subs. This will be one of the, I plan on having a big giveaway with many, uh, many prizes uh, that are up for offer. This will be one of them. So thanks, Bruce. But also included, Bruce uh, is, um, Bruce has a promo pack that you can go to his channel uh, and buy. Check out his channel and go and encourage him. So, um, if you buy his promo pack, you get his How Cool Is That sticker, dated 2022 over here. You get a How Cool Is That New Miss Canada with Bruce uh, magnet. You get his uh, 2020 sticker, which is uh, an Allosaurus. This is a 2019 25 cent coin that came out. I don't actually have that coin in my collection. You have the hologram. This is a 2022 hologram. And then you have, this is his, uh, the 2022 as well. And uh, the fridge magnet is from the 2020. And as part of the program, this is Sticker Mule. This is probably where he gets his stickers done. That's where I got my channel stickers done too. And as part of the promo pack, I got, he made sure to include one of each dime. So the double data dime, um, the uh, commemorative uh, uncolorized dime and the colorized dime over here, as well as a BU penny. This one is from 1976. Now, for a limited time, Bruce is also uh, going to be throwing in, if you buy his promo pack, uh, he's also throwing in either one of the commemorative 2021 uh, Klondike loons, or uh, I believe also you can get one of the promos the 2022 commemorative Oscar Peterson Looney, uh, your choice of colorized or uncolorized, and he'll throw it in 
uh, as a bonus if you get his um, promo pack. So head on over to his channel and check him out. So that's awesome. I'm gonna put these right up here on my magnetic workbench here on the backing. So I have a whole bunch over there. That's awesome. And as Bruce would say, how cool is that? So I'll stick these here and we'll go on to the next one. The next one is a trade that I did with a subscriber. I'm covering his address over here. Um, he also does content. He doesn't have his own channel, but what he does is uh, there's a channel called The Coin Dictionary. I'll put a link up there. And um, he specializes in um, Polish coins. So if you go over to the channel and you check uh, the, his content for Polish coins, you'll see him there. I'll put a link in the description down below as well. Um, so yeah, I sent him some Canadian silver and in exchange, he sent me something else uh, from Poland and I am, I have no idea what it is. I said, I, I told him to surprise me. So um, here, just a, a quick gander at some Polish stamps. Cool. I used to collect stamps in my youth. I still uh, set stamps when I get them, set them aside. I'm not a, a serious collector, but uh, I do uh, accumulate them. So let's see what I got. There's a little note. Oops, and another coin that was wrapped in the note. Uh, he says, hi, Emmanuel. I hope this shipment of arrives in good shape. I decided to send some mint errors and other oddities. Here is what to look for in each one. So there's a one, here we go. I'll bring the lay over here. There is a one gross from 2021 struck through Greece. So let's have a look here. I'll have to find, I'll, I'll have to find it. Struck through Greece. So it might be on this side. I don't know if it's this one. That's the two gross. Yeah, it must be this one. So this one is a st st stuck through grease error. Oh, I see. It's uh, right over here, right over here at the bottom. You can see that it has a little bit of a, a different reflectivity there. I think that's what the error is. So here you go, 2021 uh, Polish uh, gross from, um, with a stuck through grease error. That is cool. Let's go on. He says, um, a two gross 1998, a 10 gross 2007, and a 10, uh, I apologize for butchering uh, the Polish language. I am, I don't speak Polish by any means. Uh, Zdotic from 1889. These are all uh, rotated dies. Uh, use on a mirror to see it better. So let's see here. This is the two gross right here with a rotated die. So let's just do it like this and rotate. So yeah, there's a slight rotation. You can see that uh, the bird is kind of pointing to 11 o'clock. So if I ho hold the bird straight up and down and I rotate it, you can see it. Oh, that's even better here. You can see it. So that's a, a die rotation. That is cool. There is a 10 in here. I don't know which one is the, uh, there's two 10s. So the 2007, is this a 2007? That's a 2004. Here's a 2007, so let's do the same thing. So here's a, another die rotation. So if I rotate it this way, there you go. This one's going to one o'clock. Awesome. Uh, the 89, which is this the 89? That's a 2004, hold on a second. Here we go. This is the 1989. So let's start on the, with, on the bird side. So that's up and down. And if I rotate it, there you go. Rotation error. And the, so these are all die rotations. And over here it says a five grozzi from 2012. Interesting impurity on the obverse. It disappears in certain angles. So the five grozzi would be, what, is it this one over here? Yeah, on the obverse. So let's see here. Oh, there we go. Well, that's quite obvious. That is quite obvious. That's awesome. And then over here, it says a 10 Grossi from 2004. That would be this one. And a 20 Grossi from 2010 with doubled edges. Oh yeah, you can see that you can clearly see the doubling on this edge. 
Oh yeah, that's cool. And on this one as well. That is awesome. And ooh, I don't know which one it is. Is it this one? 2010? Yeah, doubled edges. Yeah, you can see the doubling on, uh, let's see here. There you go, you can, you can see it here at the bottom. It depends on the light. Yeah, you can see it all the way around. Cool. Uh, 20 Grozzy from 2020 with a weekly struck twos in the date. Yeah, there's the 2020. You can't really see that on. Oh yeah, when you see it off camera, I guess the the camera the light is um is making it more reflective. But uh, there you go, like that. There you go. You can see the weekly struck twos very clearly now. That is awesome. The uh, five uh, from 2009, major chipping on the five. You can see all of the this. Um, Die deterioration here on the five. That is awesome. And the last one over here, we have a 10 Zlachi with a clipped planchet. Right here, clipped planchet. Awesome. And the final one, of course, we all recognize these. This is a $1 Ike. It's a counter, uh, it, this is apparently a counterfeit found in a flea market. Um, so this is a counterfeit. This is a, a counterfeit check with a magnet. So let's see. Yeah, it's magnetic. Uh, so I believe, I don't know if this was supposed to be sold as a silver dollar. Let's have a look. That is awesome. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make some more tests. I'm gonna I'm gonna check out the weight and do more um, more research on this one. But uh, cool, a fake Ike. Awesome. Let's go on to this last one. Let me open it up and I'll come right back. All right, and here is what I bought. I wanted to um, fill some pennies in my Canadian penny collection. And since you don't get large pennies and it's rare to find there's really old small, small pennies, I decided to go to the coin shop and get me some. So starting with a 1988, oops, 1888, sorry, 1888 with Queen Victoria on the obverse. Cool. Moving on to, put that one there. 1903. Oh, this time we have uh, Edward the Seventh. Nineteen oh six. Still Edward the Seventh. Nineteen oh nine. Nineteen. 1910. Cool. 1911. Ah, this time we're on George V. 1912. 1913. 1917, 1918, 1919, 20. The flip has a little damage there. I'll be putting them in my book. 1920. Now that's the year that Canada convert went from the uh, large cent to the small cent. Still with George V on the obverse. We have 1921, 1928, 
1934, well, I have two. 1935, and finally, 1936. Cool. All right, well, here are my the first four pages of my Canada Penny album, and let's put that aside over there, and I will take out the first page. On this page, it goes to 1885, and I only have one to fill on this page, and it is this 1888 so let's put that right in well here is the second page this one goes from 1896 to 1901 I don't have any of those lots of empty spots over here where I put a duplicate I have a 1916 over here that was already in my collection that's a duplicate so nothing to fill on this page page 3 goes from 1902 all the way to 1920 and I already have a 1916 over here so let me fill these out and let's see what it looks like this is the before, and here is the after. So what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight missing uh, coins on uh, this page. Now we move to the small coins, the small cent page. Bring those aside. And for the small cents, I have the, uh, the first 1937 maple leaf design, but all of the ones before 1937 are the old design, which I purchased here. So here is the before, and let's look at the after. And here is the after. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine empty spots. This is a 1936 dot variety. There's only five in existence. I don't think I'll ever be getting one of those. Well, that's it for the pennies. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, this mail call. Uh, if you did, I do appreciate those thumbs up. And as always, uh, if you haven't subscribed, click on my logo over here to subscribe to my channel. And here's a video that you might be interested in, and as well a playlist that you can choose if you want to watch several of my videos in a row. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.